Okay, so everybody's sort of gut feeling is a good one. We would think that if, if the metal slab uh, made the potential difference go down to negative 500 volts, we would expect the plastic slab to be give us a potential difference of somewhere between negative 500 and negative 1,000, right? It's going to reduce it, but not as much. Why not? Why, why does this se seem to make sense? Okay, the electric field inside, for one thing, isn't necessarily going to be zero, right? Because a plastic slab doesn't have mobile electrons, right? So how would I draw this? What, what's going on inside here? What do I need to draw? Yeah, polarized atoms, right? Induced dipoles, something like that. And like you guys said, there's no mobile electron C, so there's no guarantee that E net is going to be equal to zero. But something happens to E net in here. And at any particular point, well, it might be hard to say what E net is doing because you've got all these polarized molecules in here. And depending on where exactly your observation location is, you could have, you know, the net electric field pointing one way at one location or a completely different way at another location depending on where you are. So it's a little bit messy and it's hard to figure out. 